Doing research, you're extremely goal-oriented. You need to get from one place to another, and you want to do it as quickly as possible. And riding a motorcycle is exactly that. I feel like I'm, I've been given an opportunity to contribute something special. And so I don't think there's any way to help but feel impatient because um, if your goal, if the long-term goal is to contribute to, to the patient, then we need to get things moving. I can't tell you how fortunate I feel to be a part of this group and to be in this building. This collaborative environment is, is the crux of what makes our research uh, a success. I realize that I need to be there with my students, with the fellows in the lab um, every day for that very reason. It's to foster collaboration, foster more discussion, to, to really push things further. Uh, I think that's where my contribution comes. I guess my work can be described simply as understanding the mechanisms responsible for repair and remyelination in MS. We know so little about repair and remyelination. No trial has really been done. There are no therapeutics for repair. So this is the quickest, quickest way in which we can actually bring something to the table. As science moves more and more interdisciplinary, MS research will do the same. It's going to provide new technologies and new advances for us to, to make the, the discoveries to contribute to MS. Most people would think that um, when we do experiments, what we want to do is confirm our ideas, our preconceived ideas, uh, the hypotheses that we have come up with. But day to day, the thing that inspires me are these aha moments that we have, this, these discoveries, um, unexpected discoveries, things that change our hypotheses, uh, the way we think. When I think about research, the, the real challenge though is to understand chronic and progressive MS, um, understanding the component of neurodegeneration that occurs and how we can stop that. So I would think that the, the most promising avenue uh, in MS research right now are trying to determine whether um, remyelination can prevent the degeneration that's associated with progression and chronic disability. Um, I think preventing this, this progression is going to change the quality of life that MS patients will have. So in my view, this is the most promising area of research. So scientific research really requires a personal interest, a passion, if you will, uh, to do science. Persistence, perseverance, these are, these are qualities that you have to have. And I'm a very impatient person. While I'm trying to be more patient, sometimes I wonder that if I was more patient, would I be less effective in doing research? It, this is a very exciting time uh, in terms of MS research. I can see progress everywhere.